Hello, hello. My name is Tatiana. I am your supplier support manager, and I am so excited today to have you all at our Insider's Advantage webinar. Let me guys know where you are coming from. I just want to say good morning, buenos dias, bon dia, dobre utra, bonjour, guten morgen. Salam alaikum. Trying to expand my knowledge of good mornings. Hola, hola, buenos dias. Buenos dias from Florida, from sunny Florida. Dobrava utra, Japan. I unfortunately don't know how to say good morning in Japanese. So maybe you guys write that for me. Latvia, Sweden, San Paulo. Oh, buenos dias from Buenos Aires. Kazakhstan, dobre utra, Kazakhstan. Хотя, наверное, у вас уже вечер. Добрый вечер, Kazakhstan. Chile, Amsterdam. Oh my gosh, you guys are coming from all over the world. And we are so excited to have you here. Well, I just wanted to say happy spring. We are finally in our spring summer season and we are so excited to discover new destinations, new itineraries and new places that you can visit in this season. So I hope you already have some plans for your traveling for spring. Maybe you're still considering what are you going to do through the spring and summer times. And of course, we are here to give you all the insider advantage knowledge about all the exciting destinations, beautiful cruise ships, incredible itineraries, and everything you can possibly do while you are cruising. So we have a special guest today, but I just want to wait a few more seconds before I introduce him. So let me just read your comments, guys. I saw somebody from Costa Rica. I just went to Costa Rica about a month ago. Absolutely loved it. Stayed in the hotel through in space. Was unbelievable. Yeah, Melanie from Costa Rica. Hi, thank you. We have Russia in the house. We have Azerbaijan in the house. Poland, oh my God, Japan, Canada, hi Canadians, hi neighbors, Kyrgyzstan, привет, Sputnas, Moldavia, United Kingdom, London, Astana, Andorra, oh my God, you guys are coming from all over the world and I am so, so thrilled and so excited to have you guys here. Well, I hope the weather is getting better and better no matter where you're coming from and you are getting ready for that spring and summer season because there are so many things that you can do. We can finally go to Europe and it's nice and warm. We can travel to the Caribbean still before it gets too hot and we can definitely go to Alaska so so many exciting destinations thank you guys for being here we are very happy that you all join us at our insiders advantage webinar and before I introduce our guest I just want to say very quickly uh, if you have any questions throughout this presentation please put them in the comments here myself and the moderator We'll monitor these questions and then we will present these questions to our uh, presenter. So don't worry, even throughout the presentation, write them in the chat section and we will present them at the end. Also, if you would like to switch the language above the chat, we have a little circle with different flags. Click on this flag, select the language, and all the messages will start appearing in this language. If you want to change the presenter's language, um, there is also a selection of the, um, of the language or the flag, but make sure you draw the little uh, thing towards that language. So sometimes it stops on English, move it towards your language. So whether it's um, French or Spanish or Portuguese, just make sure you switch it uh, to Portuguese. 
And one more thing that I would like to ask you guys to do. Actually, after these webinars, I always uh, get tagged on Instagram stories. And I appreciate it so much. And I love seeing you guys watching us or commenting or writing questions. So if you are watching us today, if you have your Instagram page or your Facebook page, take a quick screenshot, take a quick video and tag in cruises and tag carnival because this is our guest for today and i'm sure they will be so happy and so excited to see that you guys are so involved so without further ado i hope you guys all have your translations ready you have your chat set up so let me introduce our very special guest today we have Calvin Rodriguez. He is business development director for Carnival. And, you know, I consider him a good friend of mine because he's so knowledgeable. He has such an incredible energy. And we are actually so happy and so excited to have him presenting for us today, telling us everything we need to know and want to know about Carnival, about their brand, about their exciting new itineraries, about their new ships. So if you've had some experiences with Carnival, if you cruised on their ships, if you visited a celebration or Mardi Gras, please let us know. We love your comments and we love your participation. So please give a huge round of applause, send us all the hearts, all the thumbs up, all the energy, and please welcome Calvin Rodriguez. Woo! Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning Those are the three that I'm going to give you this morning. Hello, fun seekers, and thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, being here this morning with us. Uh, truly a, a pleasure to be able to spend some time together and choosing fun together right this morning. So exciting. Calvin, where are you coming to us from? I'm here in Miami, Florida. Ooh, the center of the heart of the cruise industry. Oh, yeah. Well, we are very excited and happy to have you here, and we can't wait to learn everything about Carnival. That's right. That's right. So, um, you know, super excited. Uh, I think uh, Carnival in general, um, you know, after the pandemic, we have uh, restarted uh, fast. We have uh, brought new ships. We continue to evolve as a company. And uh, we continue to uh, choose fun and bring that fun and excitement for everyone that sails with us on board our ships. So this year, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our campaign and, and how we decided to go this year. Um, and one of the things that we wanted to do was, you know, we were choosing fun, right, for years and always. Um, but we wanted to tag along the together piece and it's choose fun together and choose fun together means spending time with your family on board and choosing fun, being with friends, or even if you're traveling on your own, meeting new people on board our ships and just really enjoying your time on board and choosing fun together. So with that, I would like to share a video that we launched for our Choose Fun campaign. One girl, her mother, her dad, the whole family on an epic quest to choose fun together. Family Cruise the movie, not an actual movie. So with Carnival, I, I wanted to take this time here today because 
you know, one of the things that Carnival is very known for is the Caribbean. But what else does Carnival, uh, what are some of the other destinations that Carnival goes to? And I wanted to share with you first, uh, you know, where our home port uh, strategy is here in the U.S. And as you can see here in the map, we have 14 U.S. home ports year round where we allow the U.S. customer to be able to visit any of these home ports uh, within a five-hour driving distance. However, um, you know, Carnival is a global company. We are the largest cruise company in the world. Uh, we have nine brands under the Carnival Corporation umbrella. Um, so what other destinations can you find other than the Caribbean if you're looking for something more exciting, something different? Uh, because we all know we can't uh, build more islands in the Caribbean. So where else can Carnival go and really uh, give you those exotic destinations that everyone is looking for? So with that, uh, you know, these exotic destinations are typically under our journey cruises. And journey cruises are cruises that are nine or more days. And the great thing about it is that it gives us uh, the opportunity when we're sailing more than nine days to be able to go to some of these destinations that we typically don't go to because of the turnaround that we have on our Caribbean sailings. You know, when you think about three and four and five, six, seven uh, day cruises to the Caribbean, those ships turn around right away. And so uh, we don't get the opportunity to visit some of these other destinations that may be just a little bit further away from these home ports. So the great thing about these journey cruises is that they're typically in our shoulder season. So they avoid the summer months and holidays. Um, you know, when you think about the year, they're at the beginning or towards the end of the year. Uh, and they allow uh, these type of ships to have fewer kids. So, um, you know, typically because of the time frame that they sail, uh, kids are in school. And from the most part, you'll see more adult sailing. However, we are a family cruise line and we do have uh, kids that do sail here year round. So, but you won't see as many in the summer months. The other great thing, as I mentioned, with these journey cruises is the exotic destinations, you know, and I'll go over that in just a bit uh, on some of the destinations that we travel to. And the great thing is that we immerse our clients uh, and our guests that sail with us with the experiences of these destinations that we travel to when it comes to photography, social media, the cuisine on board, the art. Uh, on the ships because the ships are sailing longer so we're able to do certain activities on board that really represent some of the places that we visit and then that also goes along with some throwback events that we do to bring back some of the things that we used to do many years ago on carnival obviously this gives you a great time to interact with other guests on board and get to become friends with the crew members right so think about it you're there for nine or more days you get to really get to know your crew member your cabin steward and just people that help you around while you're on board and i think that's great because our crew is the heart of our company they do such an amazing job on board and at the end of this it's a great value to sail on these journey cruises um a lot of these uh, destinations are bucket list destinations that folks are looking to uh, sell and 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 explore these destinations and so we bring it in at a budget friendly price so the first one up here in one of these uh, journey cruises is our Panama Canal now when you think about the Panama Canal we have a full transit and a partial transit so when you have the full transit, you're going from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. It goes through the locks, um, you know, so you get the full experience uh, when you're crossing the Panama Canal. On a partial transit, you don't get that full immersed experience of the locks. 
Um, just keep in mind, you're not able to uh, get off the ship in Panama. However, we do offer tours around here that you can take advantage of uh, while you're here in uh, Panama. Now, some of the great destinations that uh, this particular sailing goes to is Colón, Panama, and Colón is the gateway to the Panama Canal. Uh, Limón, Costa Rica, which is located uh, in the coast of the Caribbean, uh, has amazing rainforests, um, you know, waterfalls that you can swim in. So there's many things that you can do while you're there as well. And uh, Colombia, which, by the way, I didn't know, Colombia is the fifth largest city with over five with over 500 years old. So that's some uh, some facts I wanted to share with you. Uh, today. So if you're looking for any of these destinations and you're looking for this Panama Canal, we have it uh, and it is available. Now, one thing with the Panama Canal and with all of these uh, exotic destinations that we visit, they do sell out fast. They go by fast. So if you're looking for it, you need to look with time because they, they go out because just keep in mind, one of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're looking at these exotic uh, sailings and the destinations that we visit is that it's not year round and the carnival guest or, or cruiser that's looking for these type of destinations will book you know a year in advance or once the sailing is open um, for sale so it's important that you if you're looking for this that you you book way way in advance so Alaska, Alaska is is uh, is part of our journeys, and the reason why I added Alaska is because you know even though the Alaska uh, season starts now in May, um, Alaska is not a year round cruise and, or, or destinations that we visit. And Alaska last year was a huge hit. Uh, um, you know there were so many people traveling to Alaska to really experience the glaciers. Uh, Skagway, Juneau, Ketchikan are some of the, the destinations that we visit, uh, you know, to check out the uh, natural, uh, you know, uh, the, the whales and, and things like that. And, and some of the excursions that are, that are offered with Alaska. And the cool thing about Alaska is that we have not just one ship, we have two ships sailing to Alaska. Uh, the first ship is uh, sailing from Seattle. Uh, that is the Carnival Spirit. And sailing from San Francisco, which offers you a longer sailing of 10 days. So out of Seattle on the Spirit is a seven-day cruise. And then out of San Francisco is a 10-day cruise. And out of San Francisco, you have the Carnival Luminosa which came over from our sister brand, Costa, which is our Italian brand. For all those Italians out there, hello. Uh, so one of the things that I'll go over is a little bit about these three Costa ships that came over to Carnival, but the first one that did come over was um, Luminosa, which is now Carnival Luminosa, and she'll be sailing to Alaska as well. Australia, wow! I'm sure we have some uh, some folks from Australia on this call this morning. Uh, but Australia is a bucket list destination for many, and I gotta say, if I have the courage to get on a plane from Miami, uh, it, it, from Miami to Australia, is I think for me an eighteen plus hour trip. I, I, I got to I gotta get ready for that trip because it's a long one for me. However, I've only heard amazing things um, about Australia. And the cool thing about this and being a bucket list destination for many is that the great thing is that you get to explore the land piece of Australia, right? And be able to come in and do a pre or post package where you can come in explore the city have an amazing time the people the culture that you get immersed in when you're there in australia and then get on a carnival ship which we have two by the way we have one in sydney 
and then we have one in Brisbane. Uh, Sydney is the Carnival Splendor, and in Brisbane is Carnival Luminosa. Now, Luminosa, as I mentioned, will go to uh, the Alaska season uh, very soon, but currently she is in Brisbane. Now, the cool thing about it is that while you're visiting this beautiful country of Australia, right, what other destinations are out there that you can visit while you're so far away from home? And, you know, places like New Zealand, the Barrier Reef, and, and things like that that you can really uh, take advantage of your time while you're there on a cruise ship and be able to, to have fun on, on board and do all the activities that we offer. But not only that, visit some great uh, exotic destinations that we have. Europe. Uh, Europe is, uh, you know, Carnival is not known for Europe. Uh, you know, usually our sister brands are heavy in Europe. Uh, we are not. However, uh, Europe has uh, become a, a, uh, a destination that we're going back to uh, slowly. Um, and, you know, this year we have the Carnival Pride out of, from Europe. But we also launched some amazing uh, destinations for 2024. Uh, which will visit uh, Spain, Rome, and London are some of the spots that we will be uh, sailing from and take you to all the destinations around. So um, if you want to get a little bit more in-depth on what those, uh, those destinations are, please look them up so that way you can really uh, take advantage of some of the destinations that we do visit. And so I really like that because I think that Europe for many, um, you know, when you think about me uh, being here in Miami, you know, it's not, uh, it's, not a, 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 it's not a place that I'm there all the time. But, you know, one thing that Carnival does very well is that, you know, we are a cruise line that has a lot of first-time cruisers. And a lot of first-time cruisers, uh, it will be their first time to Europe, too. And what a great way to be on board a ship that takes you to all these great uh, destinations on board uh, to visit and fall in love and be able to go back, uh, you know, at a later time. So I think that's that's something great that Carnival offers this Europe uh, destination sailings. The transatlantic. So uh, the transatlantic uh, sailing. Uh, those are always very popular. Uh, you know, obviously the the transatlantics are longer cruises. Um, and they allow you to really uh, relax and enjoy some of the uh, destinations that we go to, like Spain, Portugal, uh, the Canary Islands. Uh, then when you get closer, you, you'll go into Grand Turk, uh, which are some of the other uh, places that we go to, depending on where the, uh, the ship will be home porting in the U.S. So these transatlantics are don't happen all the time so they sell out very fast you know they book up quickly um but you know they're they are a great uh, option as well to enjoy so canada and greenland is another one that we have here um and you can go to cornerstone the corner brook saint anthony and nova scotia are some of the spots that we go to with this one again when you think about what I'm talking about today, this morning, you see that these are not typical carnival destinations. So I stress it and I stress it on each slide uh, is that if you want to take advantage of some of these great um, spots that you um, look at them way, way ahead of time because they do book up very, very fast. Singapore, right? Carnival in Singapore? Really? Yes, we are. We are in Singapore. Can you believe that? And, you know, I, I, I got to tell you, I've, I've been with Carnival 21 years. And now I'm starting to learn all of these unique destinations right here with you today, this morning. So, uh, you know, it's exciting for me because, you know, we don't uh, travel to these destinations. But think about Carnival going to Singapore. I think that's fantastic. And Indonesia. Uh, that we're, we're traveling to. So I, I, I think these are some amazing countries that, um, that we're, we're visiting. And uh, I heard that Singapore is a, is a city and a country in one. Uh, that Indonesia with the elephant safari and, 
and the white uh, water rafting. I mean, these are cool things that uh, people love to do. So I'm I'm excited. I want I want to sail on these uh, in these exotic destination cruises. Um, the Trans Pacific Carnival doing a Trans Pacific. Yes, we are, and we're visiting Fiji. I mean, uh, we the Philippines. Uh, which uh, the Philippines is made up of over 7,000 islands. I didn't know this. I pulled up this fun fact uh, just to share with you all. Um, uh, we have Guam. We're going to Japan. Uh, so, I mean, this is, this is great. And something about Japan, and gra- congratulations to all, to Japan on the uh, World Classic Baseball Series uh, winning uh, Team USA, congratulations to all that watched the game the other day. And something about Japan was that I didn't know is the uh, the second largest city with a population of over 3 million. It was originally a small fishing village. So, hey, wanted to share that news with you all. So, you know, these are just some great places that we're going to. So now a little bit more to my comfort zone, which is the food on board and these are some of my favorites there are so many um other food options on board but i wanted to share with you some of my favorites and these three that you see here are our specialty dining uh there is a cost to dine in these restaurants but knowing carnival uh you know pricing uh, for these restaurants are very uh, accessible to everyone um, because we really make cruising accessible to all. And one of my all-time favorites is our steakhouse, which is our Fahrenheit 555, uh, which is a great uh, experience. And I'll give you one tip for you all, is that when you book steakhouse on board, if you book it the first night, uh, you get a, a bottle of wine uh, for dinner. The other one that I truly love is our chef's table. If you haven't done this experience, it's a really unique experience that is a table of 14, so it sells out very fast. Uh, Our chefs are cooking up these amazing dishes, and it just teaches you as educational, um, and it really gives you a a, a really culinary experience when you're uh, at chef's table. The other one is our bonsai tapanyaki. Our chef is uh, cooking uh, your dinner or lunch because it's offered for lunch or dinner. And he's uh, creating a show while he's cooking for you. And I think our chefs at bonsai tapanyaki do, do an amazing job with the shows that we have. Now, some some of the casual food that I love, um, and if all of you know, um, we've teamed up with Guy Fieri, uh, Food Network star, uh, with Guy's Burger Joint, and uh, we've had this partnership with him for a few years now, and, you know, I just uh, love these burgers, and I gotta say, there's a plain Jane, but there's also five other different burgers that you can take advantage of. And I'll give you a tip. My son always says to share this every time I have a presentation. And that is that when you're waiting for a guy's burger and you get to to ask for it, you ask for two burgers and double fries. That way you don't have to make the line again. So that's my tip to you all that my son shared with me. Now, big chicken. Uh, our chief fun officer, Shaquille O'Neal, opened up his restaurant, Big Chicken, on board Carnival Radiance, uh, our Mardi Gras, and Carnival Celebration are the three ships that currently have Big Chicken. And these are huge size chicken sandwiches. Not only that, but you can have chicken tenders, french fries, and there's a topping station once you pick up your order. All three of these restaurants, by the way, are included. There are no additional charges to enjoy these restaurants. And lastly, our Blue Iguana Cantina. I love Blue Iguana. I love it for breakfast. I love it for lunch, 
For breakfast, you have the huevos rancheros, or the scrambled eggs. You can have that with many different toppings and create your own burrito. Um, and then for lunch, they have steak, shrimp, or chicken. And then you can, again, with all the different toppings, create your own burrito. Uh, but not only that, they also have tacos as well that they offer. And all of this, again, is complimentary. One thing that I forgot to mention is on our XL class ships, which is Mardi Gras and Celebration, which is our new ships, we also opened up guys for breakfast. So if you look at the picture here in front of you, you're going to see that that's a breakfast burger that has bacon, ham, a fried egg, and then the meat and cheese of the burger. So I've, I've tried uh, the burger for breakfast, and it's amazing. And trust me, it'll keep you full for the rest of the day. So when it comes to the bars that we have on board, these are my three favorites. There are different bars uh, on board our ships where you can hang out and have a good time. Uh, but these are my three favorites. And Red Frog Pub is one of them. And a few years back, you know, I think um, around the world, uh, beer in general has really evolved and when I think about here at home um, I think about uh, all the uh, companies now or all these uh, brewery companies are doing all these either local beers or IPAs or or different types of experiences when it comes to to the beer and I think Carnival was a pioneer when it came to uh, launching Red Frog, which was one of the original uh, beers that we offered, uh, specialty beers that we offered on board. And then we started exploring, and now we have breweries on board where we have a brewmaster, and we do tours as well for folks that want to take advantage of that. And again, remember, the brewery uh, tanks are not on all of our ships, uh, so you want to keep that in mind when you're looking, if you're looking to uh, take advantage of, of that while you're sailing. The other one that I really love is Havana Bar, and this just brings you back to those Cuban roots uh, with that Cuban-inspired uh, theme uh, within uh, Havana Bar. Uh, here you can find a classic mojito or a Cuban cafecito or cafe uh, that you can enjoy and dance the night away with some live Latin music. And then lastly here, our alchemy bar, our mixologist serving up these amazing cocktails that you can only find here in, in alchemy. And my favorite thing in alchemy is to enjoy it before dinner or sometimes even after. Um, but, you know, just watching our mixologists uh, serve up these drinks, it's, it's a show within the bar. And one of my favorite drinks is the old fashioned that I really uh, enjoy while on board. So choosing fun, right? I, I've talked about it many times about choosing fun and, and what uh, what else can you do on board, right? And these are just some of the things that I like to enjoy and, and I know that many do as well. And let me start off with choosing fun for everyone with Bolt, our first roller coaster at sea. I mean, who ever thought of that? A ship with a roller coaster. But yes, Carnival has it and it's available on Mardi Gras and Carnival Celebration. We also have an IMAX theater. Now, again, some of these things, you got to remember that um, when it comes to shipbuilding, um, not every ship has everything that other ships have. And we do that because we want each ship to be unique. And so, yes, you, you won't find a, a roller coaster on every Carnival ship. You won't find an IMAX on every Carnival ship. Uh, however, you will find Carnival Waterworks on every Carnival ship because, uh, you know, there the splash parks, the water slides are there uh, for all of our ships, for, you know, for the small kids to the adults. I've been on the slides. They're amazing. Uh, and then when you think about the IMAX uh, theater to go watch a movie, 
Um, there is a cost for the tickets, uh, you know, to enjoy the movie, but it's it's a reasonable cost. It, it costs like if you were to go to a movie theater back at home. So these are all great um, options that, that we have. But not only that, um, we have our playlist productions. Uh, here is where we have these amazing shows in the evening um, and uh, really do, do all these different types of um, uh, shows where you can uh, enjoy and it's complimentary. Uh, our punchline or comedy club. Uh, we have a family version during the day and then for the adults uh, uh, in the evening. And then Family Feud. Uh, this show was a huge hit. I'm sure many of you uh, know Family Feud, um, but we take uh, our guests to be contestants on board and uh, win prizes at the end. And this is just one of the uh, activities that we do or contests that we do on board. Uh, there are many others that we have. Our youth program. So, as I mentioned to you earlier, I've been with Carnival 21 years. My kids are 17 and 15 years old. So, they have grown up with these youth programs. And I can speak for myself and say that we do an amazing job with these programs. They are complementary no cost to take the kids to these camps the only area where we do charge additional is for our night hours program which is our babysitting program in the evening which allows uh the adults to be able to explore and do other things on board the ship and i have to worry about the younger kids um you know uh, taking care of them on board so that night hours program is available from 10 in, at night to one in the morning uh, there is an additional charge for that per child per hour sometimes uh we have a pajama night where they charge you for that one uh, event uh, but they'll let you know at a time on all the activities that they'll offer for the night hours program but the camp ocean starts from two years old and then it works its way up to the Club 02 and Circle C, which is for our teens program. Uh, and then we've also teamed up with Dr. Seuss. And we have our Dr. Seuss parade. We have our Dr. Seuss breakfast for those green eggs and ham. Uh, that breakfast is additional. Uh, I love it. I take advantage of it. Um, I do want my green eggs and ham in the morning. Uh, and my colorful pancakes. Uh, so it's really a, a unique experience. And then not only that, but the characters come out and are able to uh, take uh, pictures with everyone around the tables. We also have the Build-A-Bear workshop. Uh, this is an additional cost. And we have miniature golf on all of our ships. And then we only have sky zone on one ship and that's our carnival panorama currently carnival panorama is in uh, the west coast in long beach california but she is the only one that has sky zone so just to backtrack a little bit on our vista class vista and horizon we had the imax theater we took out the IMAX theater and we put Sky Zone for Panorama, which is the third sister in that Vista class uh, class of ship. So this is Sky Zone. Um, it, there are some extra charges for certain things here in this area. However, it's only available on one ship, which is Carnival Panorama. Now, there are other things that we have that we offer on board. We have in our Vista class, we have Sky Ride, which is a bicycle up in the top deck, which is complimentary. There isn't uh, any charges for that, but, you know, it's amazing views while you're riding bike on the top deck. Um, you know, we have our dive-in movies uh, in our little deck where we have these complimentary movies that we um show for everyone those uh, movies are in the carnival hub app uh, with all the activities that we offer and then we have our sports square as well that we have for ropes course we have dodgeball basketball and and other things that you can uh, take advantage of while you're on board 
So now let's get to the exciting, one of my favorite spots, which is what's new with Carnival. For any Puerto Rican that's listening today, my Puerto Ricans that are out there, this is actually Mardi Gras sailing from Puerto Rico. Now, one fun fact about this, actually a couple of fun facts. I was on this ship when it was sailing uh, or leaving from Puerto Rico at this time. And just to bring back some, some memories here, this was the first visit to Puerto Rico when we restarted oper operations after the pandemic. So the ship was a brand new ship, first time uh, visiting the first port of uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, so, you know, I was able to uh, had the experience to be able to be on board and, uh, and Mardi Gras being the first ship to San Juan, Puerto Rico. So if you're on board Mardi Gras and you're in our Pixel Studios, you will see this picture here as well and when you buy any of the albums um they will give you this picture as part of the album so uh just something uh to think about for those puerto ricans that are listening so carnival celebration the sister of mardi gras she just started sailing this past november uh late november i should say and I also had the opportunity to sail uh, on, on this beautiful ship in December. Um, she is sailing right here in my hometown, Miami, Florida. Uh, as I mentioned, the cruise capital of the world. Uh, we did build a brand new terminal, Terminal F for fun, right here in Miami, uh, which, you know, she looks stunning and, and amazing, the terminal. And I just love the way that we designed it and the flow to be able to get to the ship easily and, and less congested to, to be able to get on board. Now, this ship, just like her sister, has six different zones. So for any of those uh, that are listening, have been on Carnival before, you'll notice that typically our ships are deck by deck. We've really never done zones uh, on any of our ships. So this is something new that we uh, decided to launch with Mardi Gras, and then we took it over to her sister ship celebration. Now, there are two different zones that differentiate her sister Mardi Gras and celebration, and I'll go over those in just a bit. But these are the six zones. And what I like about what Carnival has done now with shipbuilding is that we've managed to separate each area so uh, our guests are able to really experience uh, the different areas on board and not feel so crowded on some of these larger vessels that we have. So the first zone is Celebration Central. When you board the ship, this is the first thing that you are going to see. style seating it has a huge three deck window that you can look out to the ocean during the day and during the evening they bring down these huge led screens that immerse you into the shows that we offer so if you think about carnival and our other ships our shows in the evening are typically in our theater However, on this class of ship, it's on the open here in Celebration Central. So you can be walking in any of this space, which is open, and going to a restaurant, and you're passing by, and you see the show at a bar, enjoying your time. Um, so it's it's really cool to be able to do that. And not only that, but you have our, our um, Java Blue Cafe for some the lattes and some breakfast items our bonsai sushi and tapanyaki, our cherry on top, which is our candy store. And there's other things that you can really explore while you're in this space. So I think we really did a great job with this. The other thing I want you all to know is the celebration actually came in during our 50 year anniversary. Uh, we started back in 1972 and we just celebrated 50 years last year. And this ship actually played tribute to the 50 years of Carnival. And one of the spaces that we took advantage of that was the Golden Jubilee. As soon as you walk away from Celebration Center, the first thing that you're going to see is a Rolls Royce that came off the Carnival Ecstasy. 
and was brought to the carnival celebration to immerse everyone into the 50 years here at carnival this space was dedicated to that we brought memorabilia from our former ships that have been retired and we brought them to this space uh one of the cool things is that you can we have a qr code that you can scan and you can see exactly where each piece came from and what ship and the history behind it so i think that's really cool and we really brought some of our uh old school uh cocktails and drinks uh to this uh, jubilee uh bar on the back of the chairs are are, are all of the ships the tile that's around the bar is from the original Mardi Gras, and some of the chairs are from uh, uh, from the ecstasy and fables, and then some of the uh, glass and things like that that you'll see. So I, I think it's a really cool spot, I, I, and there's live entertainment and, and things to do here as well. And as you move on, you go into our open dining um, uh, restaurant, which is our Carnival dining room. Here... Uh, will be your open uh, seating. Um, but not only that, we offer tea time. So for those that uh, would like to have some tea in the afternoon with some snacks, make sure you look those up in the Carnival Hub app for the activities. It's complimentary. There is no additional charge. And I love tea time. The Gateway. Uh, you know, Gateway celebrates travel. Uh, and I think that this space did an amazing job for us. And the first thing that you see when you walk in is our Latitude Bar, where you get to enjoy some international drinks right here at this bar. But not only that, if any of you have been to some of the old train stations or airports, back in the days, there used to be a message board that would give you the information uh, on that board. And so right on top of the bar, if you see on the picture, there's a message board there that will click, 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 and give you a new message. So I thought that was really cool that we brought that into the space and into the bar. Um, as you walk down the hall, the next thing you're going to run into is Emeralds, Chef Emerald and his Bristro 1397. I got to say, it is an additional cost of items uh, from $4 to $6, but it is worth the money. I've had the shrimp and grits, the beignets, and they are amazing. Uh, the other th cool thing that we did with this space is that we created a show within the space. So in the top picture, those are huge LED windows that take you to different destinations around the world. But not only that, um, there are different times uh, in the evening throughout the cruise where they have a show that is created with the images from the window and from the roof of the uh, of this uh, the gateway area. So I think that's really cool uh, to be able to have another area to really enjoy and have a good time. And as you continue to walk through uh, gateway, you're going to run into Carnival Kitchen. So for those that love to cook or want to learn how to cook, this is the spot for you all. And you have to book this in advance because it does sell out. Uh, but we offer uh, cooking classes on uh, cakes, cupcakes, sushi, pizza. So you know, there's so many cool things with Carnival Kitchen. And think about it as a TV reality show. That's how it feels when you're in there. You have your own personal station. And then you have the chef, the chef with the mic. And he's talking to you and teaching you how to, uh, you know, make a cake. Uh, and so, and then you can eat it afterwards. So I, I think that's the best thing about it. And if you don't like it, you can give it to your neighbor. <laughs> but uh, once you're, uh, once you kind of uh, finish here at the gateway you run into our our festival dining room which is our main dining room for six o'clock and eight o'clock dining it is a two-tier dining room but you'll you got to think about when you are on the next cell class ship um which is either mardi gras or celebration right now there are so many places to eat that you will not have time to go to the dining room to have your standard dining room experience. It's, it's just so many different places. 
820 Biscayne Boulevard. So let's rewind back in 1972, the first corporate office address for Carnival Cruise Line was 820 Biscayne, Florida, uh, Biscayne Boulevard, right here in Miami, Florida. And so we wanted to put this into the space here on board uh, celebration and we named it 820 Biscayne. Now here you can find our Miami Slice, which is our pizzeria, complimentary. Uh, one cool thing that I love is Deco Deli with our sandwiches that we have and we brought also uh, three unique ones uh, that are local here in Miami, which is one, the Cubano, the Cuban sandwich, uh, the, a pork sandwich and a croquette sandwich. So those are three very popular ones here in Miami. Uh, obviously, the, there's a huge uh, a Cuban um, uh, <laughs> Cuban uh, people here, <laughs> and so there's 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 a, a lot of that here in Miami. But uh, you can enjoy some of the classics like the tuna, the Reuben. Uh, there's meatball and uh, ham and cheese, things like that, that you can find also here, complimentary. The other thing is that uh, you'll run into is Bar 820. And Bar 820 is going to have some classic uh, drinks, Miami style. Uh, we teamed up with a local brewery that we have uh, 305 uh, beer, which is available here. And also the liqueur from our Wynwood area here in Miami. Uh, for the liqueur to make some of the cocktails that we offer uh, at Bar 820. One of the other restaurants, or two restaurants that you'll find in this area is our Cucina del Capitano, which is our Italian restaurant. And one fun fact that I would like to share with you is that our chefs, uh, excuse me, our, our, our um, oh my God, I can't think of it right now, but the menu is there we go they are captains are their menus or the menu in cucina is actually from their family so all the rep, all the recipes that you see in our menu are from the captain's families back at home and i think that makes it very unique to be able to enjoy cucina and then one of the featured dishes is from our captain's favorite which is always featured for each ship in cucina where we have this ship on board, uh, this restaurant on board. The other cool restaurant is Rudy Seagro. Uh, this is one of the specialty restaurants. It is amazing. Uh, chef Rudy is actually the executive chef for Holland America, which is our sister brand. Um, and the cool thing is you could probably find Chef Rudy uh, in the restaurant uh, while you're sailing because he is... Uh, he is a chef that loves to be in his restaurants at all times. So he usually goes between Holland and Carnival to, uh, you know, make sure things are running smooth at his restaurant. So I really, really think a, uh, 820 Biscayne is a, is a huge hit. And as you walk across uh, 820 Biscayne, you're going to run into the next area, which is Summer Landings. Uh, summer Landings, uh, again, here we teamed up with Guy Fieri. He has his uh, Pig and Anchor brew house, smoke house, and here you can find some great barbecue food, uh, mac and cheese, uh, brisket, um, you know, chicken, things like that that you'll find typically in, in barbecue. It's complimentary. Uh, but then out, not only that, here is where you'll find our brewery uh, and our specialty beers. We do have some live music here as well. There's also another pool in this area towards the back of the outside of the patio area of summer landings and uh and one thing that carnival does very well is that we play tribute to our military and we have a heroes tribute lounge um on celebration uh which i think which is it's it's amazing it kind of fits in with guys uh big and anchor being all in that area Little Deck. So Little Deck is, uh, is an area that is known across the fleet. Um, one cool thing about Little Deck is uh, uh, we, we have Red Frog uh, Bar, we have the sea, uh, sea, Seaside Theater for the movies, 
uh, street eats, big chicken, and all that you can find here in this space as well. The ultimate playground. So here, uh, it's ultimate because you have the first roller coaster at sea, our waterworks, miniature golf, and things like that. But I wanted to kind of put you guys to ride bolt for the very first time. So let's check out this video. I hope you were able to experience it virtually, uh, but now you can, hopefully you can experience it live on, on our Excel class ships. So one thing we did with Carnival is we really revamped our staterooms and we created a more modern uh, look, uh, these nice uh, uh, light colors in the staterooms and two of my favorites. Uh, uh, on these ships is our Havana Cabana, which is our Havana staterooms, which have a private uh, Havana pool area, exclusive only for guests traveling in this particular stateroom. We do have interior suites and these cabanas available. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that if you're traveling with children, it has to be 12 years of age or older to be in Havana. And then the other space that I, or the other stateroom that I really love is our family harbor staterooms. And these are for families. There's actually an exclusive lounge area that have video games, board games, um, some continental breakfast, um, a hangout space, and some other things that you can really enjoy that is complimentary when you uh, book family harbor staterooms. The other thing we did, Carnival did, was step into a little bit of luxury Carnival style, and that is with our XL suites. And, you know, we have our standard suites, but these suites just take it up a notch. And if you can see in the picture there in front of me, you can see how big the balcony is on one of those XLs. Uh, they do have a private whirlpool in the back and some lounge furniture. Even the presidential suites have the... Uh, um, a fireplace, an electrical fireplace uh, in the balcony area. So you can really throw a party out here uh, if you're traveling with some friends. Um, but there's only 32 of these available in different uh, areas uh, in the ship. Typically, they're towards the back of the ship, uh, but there are some other ones in, in some other areas. Um, they do come with us an exclusive area, Loft 19, a dedicated concierge line, um, some specialty dining uh, reservations that can be guaranteed, the bottom, bottomless uh, bubbles uh, sort of package that we offer, and, and you know, laundry service and things like that. So there is a, a, a list of things that are offered with these Excel suites. Uh, but not only that, as I mentioned, Loft 19, which is also included, which is a dedicated space. This is the first for Carnival. We've never done something like this before. Uh, there is a, um, a a large hot tub spa area there. Uh, these cabanas are for rent. Uh, you can rent them daily or weekly. Um, you know, so but that's up to you. There, there. You know, if you want to take advantage of that, there is plenty of lounge space and there is a bar service as well in this space. Now, Carnival Celebration does sail from Miami, as I mentioned. She goes to Cozumel. Costa Maya and Mahogany Bay, and the eastern goes to San Juan, Amber Cove, and St. Thomas. She does alternate from St. Thomas to St. Martin, so on some different sailings. Now, the fun uh, continues with XL. We have our Carnival Jubilee, uh, which is the third sister of the XL class. We are still waiting on details to come out on how this ship will look like uh, on the interior. Um, however, she will be sailing year-round from Galveston, Texas, starting this December. Uh, she will be offering a seven-day Western Caribbean, visiting Cozumel, 
Costa Maya and Mahogany Bay, and we are open already all the way through April of 25. So going back a little bit to the beginning of the presentation, I talked about Carnival Luminosa, and she is sailing out of Brisbane currently, and she will be uh, sailing um, to Alaska in May. However, uh, this is part of a three-ship, uh, Costa ship um, that came over to our fleet, and the first one was Carnival Luminosa. Now, Carnival Luminosa was refitted to fit a Carnival-style class of ship. So she has everything, the bells and whistles that you will typically find on a Carnival experience, on a Carnival ship. She was uh, painted with the uh, red, white, and blue. The funnel or the smokestack was uh, with the Carnival logo and all the interior spaces refitted to fit Carnival. Now, this is, a, this is one of the Costa ships were brought over to us now let's talk about the other two now one thing I, before i move on is that this ship is a spirit class style size of ship so if you think about carnival spirit legend uh pride miracle it's the same class same style same size so so you have an idea same thing with these two other ships that came over from costa now um these are Vista class size ships. So Vista, Horizon, Panorama. This is the size of this class of ship that came over from our Costa uh, brand. And can you believe, and I've mentioned this, I think 21 years, and I'm learning now some fun Italian style, uh, you know, so for all my Italians out there, please bear with me as I go through some of the, uh, uh, presentation points there as I learn uh, a little bit more about uh, Carnival fun Italian style with these two ships and the first one is our Carnival Venense which is uh, gonna be sailing from New York uh, real soon uh, actually it's she's open and she's gonna sail right around the corner and our Carnival Firenze which will be out of Long Beach which she actually opened up today so uh, that's really exciting. Now, just keep in mind, these ships, we're going, to, we're going to keep that Italian style feel inside. However, crew um, and some of the other things that uh, folks are, are accustomed to on Carnival will st still be here and highlighted throughout the ship. That's why it's called Fun Italian Style. So let's take a look real quick through uh, Venice. When you come into the ship, this is the first thing that you'll see, which is the lobby, uh, the lobby deck. Um, and then from there, um, this is one of the actual uh, dining rooms where you can uh, really, uh, you know, come in and experience the dining room. It is a two deck with a gondola in the middle of the dining room. Um, this ship will not have a uh, Cucina del Capitano Italian restaurant. However, some of those dishes in the menu will be featured in this main dining room and with some of the other uh, uh, dining items that are typically with our uh, restaurants in our main dining room. So just keep that in mind. Here's our little deck, Dolce Vida. You see, I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. And, you know, one thing I love about this is, I, I, I love this. This is, this is not typical on Carnival, but it is an experience, right? And I love this. And one thing that this ship has that her sisters don't, which is Vista, Horizon, and Panorama, is that this ship has a retractable roof. So, uh, you know, think about it. You're sailing from New York year-round. So you want to have this roof open and close, you know, when it gets cold or warm, you know, you can open and close it as you wish. Um, there are some, uh, there's going to be some amazing restaurants and there's going to be a pasta eating contest here as well. I, 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 I got to see that <laughs> for sure. Um, something that stays across the board with uh, this particular ship is our Java Blue. The only thing we added was some gelato ice cream. So you got to have gelato, right? 
but you know you'll find here some typical uh you know lattes uh some uh, american coffee things like that that you will still enjoy here at java blue uh, but we just added the gelato uh to the space uh Roco Coco. hey i'm trying i'm trying uh, so here you'll find limoncello uh, margaritas, uh, uh, daiquiris, piña colada, so a lot of frozen drinks uh, that you'll be able to uh, enjoy in this particular space. Uh, it's a fun and cool bar to really enjoy and have fun. Uh, Tomotoro uh, is a, um, it's Mex-Italian, uh, so this takes over our Blue Iguana Cantina. Um, here you will find some Italian meatballs, some uh, rotisserie chicken, but not only that, you'll also be able to enjoy some of those burritos and tacos that you're accustomed to on uh, Blue Iguana. So you can find that here in, um, in this restaurant. Now with Guy's Burger Joints, a completely different look here. And there's going to be two different items that are going to be featured here in Guy's. And the first one is a pepperoni pizza burger. I got to try that. And the big mozz, which is mozzarella. It's a mozzarella burger. So I, I got to try those when I get on board. La Estrada Grill, which is uh, pretty much a street eats Italian grilled food. Uh, sandwiches, salads, you know, uh, ch uh, grilled chicken meats and things like that that you can find here at the La Estrada Grill. Uh, something different and unique to be able to enjoy. Amari. Amari. So that this space takes over uh, the uh, Alchemy Bar space. So you can, you can uh, feel that it's the same kind of concept. Uh, the only difference is that you'll be able to enjoy some of those Italian Amari liqueurs. Uh, obviously, we'll still have our mixologists and some really cool um, cocktails that you can experience while you're here at this, uh, at this bar. Ferenc, no, uh, frisante, frisante, you see here, frisante, uh, bubbly drinks, prosecco, spirits, um, some cool Italian beer, um, and then during the morning, uh, you'll be able to enjoy some Italian coffee, so, hey, maybe not Java Blue, but we'll come over here for some Italian coffee. Gondola Lounge. So on our other ships, it's Ocean Plaza. Um, here you'll have a dance floor, live music. Our our fun squad will have activities throughout the day. There's uh, there's breakfast in the morning. So there's a lot of things that you can really enjoy throughout the day here in this space. Caravali. Uh, is a uh, it's a space, it's a bar, it's a lounge. It's pretty much just to hang out, uh, enjoy uh, some cocktails, some music, some uh, some wine, uh, some fine wine, uh, and really enjoy the space. Terraza, terraza uh, is a is towards the back of the ship, uh, and this is just as you can see here in the picture is uh, pretty pretty cool place to hang out and have a good time. Um, our serenity uh, deck, which is only for adults. Uh, I love the Italian look to it with the wood colors and all that. It looks, the ship looks great. Um, Terraza stateroom. So when you think about the Havana staterooms on the other class of ships, on the Vista class, you see terraza and terraza staterooms is the same concept uh, that you have the patio area on the outside and then you can kind of see towards the back of when you exit the patio area, you get to be uh, immersed into this beautiful area on the outside with some whirlpools and things like that that you can enjoy. Now, this ship is uh, sailing from New York, as I mentioned, offering from four to eight day sailings. Uh, you have the New England and Canada, Bermuda, and some Caribbean sailings as well. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for your time. It's been a true pleasure uh, to be here with you all today. I hope that you have gained as much knowledge as I have in this presentation. Um, you know, I got to say, it's always uh, a pleasure to be with all of you and all of you Carnival fans out there. Truly, truly appreciated. Thank you so much.
When we call it insider advantage, this is truly an insider advantage because you gave us so many details, so many tips, like the menu from the Cantina Capitan. Like, I had no idea that these are items from their family menus. So little tips and tricks like these are absolutely incredible. Um, everybody loved the presentation. The amount of comments we got, people were saying that they have, I read one comment, uh, 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 our member said that they cruised five times and four of those times were with Carnival. Uh, a lot of people already said on Mardi Gras, so people were very, very, very excited. Thank you so much for sharing the vast knowledge that you have. No, thank you. I'm seeing the comments here as well. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Uh, you know, um, the, uh, I do have... No, no, always a pleasure, always a pleasure. Um, I do have a couple of questions. If you guys still have time, please stick around. Uh, just a few things that I heard. Uh, first of all, a huge shout out to our Panama members, because when you started mentioning Panama Canal, they went crazy. <laughs> so they were asking uh, about those sailings if the embarkation port is Panama City, or it's a different embarkation port, and what is the season for those sailings? So, I'll give you one example. So, one is um, one is in November, uh, which has become a huge hit, but it, it typically sails from, uh, this particular one sails from Miami, and, and it, 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 typically these ships, what they do is they'll, they'll do a reposition, so if the ship needs to go to the west coast, um, we'll we'll do this repositioning cruise to where it goes, you know, goes through the Panama Canal and then you know it crosses over. Um, some of the partial ones, you know, will will go partially, but you know, typically they sail from the U.S. home port. Um, they don't, we don't, we don't start off the ship in Panama for for say. All right. Well, they're very excited. They're very yeah. happy to have ships there as well. Absolutely. Um, and actually surprised me a lot, all the destinations that you guys go to. Said that before, it's typically associated with Caribbean. So hearing that you don't only do Alaska, but also, I wrote it down, Australia, Fiji, Philippines, Singapore. It's incredible to see all these destinations. Um, and we've had a lot of people saying, oh, I would love to go to Australia. I would love to go to uh, Singapore. Uh, could you share with us the seasons for uh, uh, Australia season? Uh, so Australia right now, I'll tell you right now. Give me one second. Uh, Australia season. I'm sure we'll have a lot of people um, traveling to Australia and joining the ship to do these kind of itineraries. Uh, Australia is... Give me one second. That's a good question. I should know that off the top of my head, but I don't. Um, I know the ship is leaving uh, Brisbane and now in May, um, but we've we actually uh, we've been year round in Australia except for the when we 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 move one of the ships over from Brisbane to to uh, Alaska, then we keep Splendor over there. But uh, but the ship is yeah the ship is there year round out of Sydney. And then Brisbane is uh, their uh, partial year just because she goes to Australia for the summertime, you know, from May to around um, late August, early September. So basically you can go into any season with that. Yeah, pretty much. Amazing. Now, you were talking a lot about the um, food on board. And I saw people saying that this is the best part of the cruise. Somebody said an even better idea to get three burgers when you stand in line. So this is very, very exciting. 
Um, and we had a few questions about children's programs. Now, how old should a kid be to be able to cruise with Carnival? So children can be as old as six months to be able to sail with Carnival. Uh, that's what we recommend is six months is the, the start time. Mm -hmm. um, there are um, There is a program that we offer um, for children under two. Um, it's not an all day program, um, but it gives the children some time to be able to um, have some time to be able to have some activities on board, but it's not uh, the Camp Ocean starts at two years old. So, for example, when when my kids were young, you know, when my daughter sailed and she was under two, you know, most of the time she was with us. Um, but, you know, we did have some things that we were able to do on board with her to take advantage of. But uh, but the actual program, uh, the Camp Ocean starts at two years old. At two. And other cabins on board, state rooms, which can fit two parents and let's say two kids. So yeah, we, we have cabins up to up to up to five. Um, you know the cabin configuration. Uh, it could be two twin beds that convert into a king. Um, it could be uh, upper bunk, uh, like a bunk bed style, um, where you have a lower bunk and an upper bunk. Um, if it's a triple, then it, it, it could be just the lower. It could be the, the sofa bed, or it could be a actual pull down from from the wall that creates a bed and then you know you have the stairs that take you up to the bed um and then on certain ships there are trundle beds that are 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 pulled from under the bed and give you that fifth space um the good thing about carnival is that you know we have the largest state rooms at sea um so um i personally wouldn't recommend it if they're teenagers because Obviously, it's four. You're thinking about four adults in one cabin, like in my example. And so it gets a little bit tight when you have one bathroom. So sometimes, um, you know, it's it it's worth getting the two cabins for that extra space and the extra bathroom. And sometimes the difference in cost is not that much. Um, and you can you can mix right the great thing about carnival is that maybe you want to be in, uh, in a balcony but not necessarily do you want to pay for a balcony for your kids so you put them in an interior across the hall uh or if you're in an ocean view you can put them in an interior across the hall so um that can work as well and can save overall then it will give you all that extra square footage in the cabin you know when you have two of them and you can do connecting rooms too there's not that many but you can have the connecting where you have the door that opens up uh, for the both of the staterooms. And Carnival is very family oriented, right? So there's always something to do for everybody, all ages, and it's very accommodating for families with kids as well. So definitely, if you're planning to go cruise for your big family, choose Carnival. Choose fun. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's for sure. You know, we are uh, we are a family cruise line. Uh, we cater to more families than any other. Um, you know, however, we still do have some sailings where some adults can still be able to enjoy and have a great time as well. And you know, you got to remember, Carnival is for all ages. Uh, there's really not a particular age group that we cater to. Uh, we cater to everyone, and that's the great thing about Carnival is that we have as little or as much as you want to do on board our ships, and depending on your age group, you know, you can fit right in uh, as soon as you board our ships. We also had a lot of great reaction when we showed that video of the uh, gold. Um, everybody was going, wow, amazing. I even tried to take a video of all the comments that started flying through um, and it is really really amazing thing and very unique thing to do on board a continent ship do you have balls on board all the ships or is it just a selected number of them so currently right now it's on our new ships our xl class which is mardi gras celebration and uh jubilee that will come later this year um the boat does go 40 miles per hour on the top 
Um, it is controlled, so you can control it while you're driving. Uh, and there is a boost button if you want to go faster as well. So I, I always press on that boost button a few times uh, because I want to pick up some speed when I'm on there. I haven't done it, so I would love to try uh, walls when I go on a cruise. And the last thing I will ask for, I know we're a little bit over the limit of time. We have so many people from different sides of the world, from Brazil, from Colombia, from everywhere, asking when is Carnival coming, starting sailing from our port. So do you have plans to expand, to have sailing in South America, to have more sailings in Asia, to have more sailings from Canada, because they are waiting. They can't. They can't wait any longer. They want to cruise on Carnival. I know. I I feel you. I know that we were sailing from at one time to South America and and uh, a few years back, and it was great. Um, and you know, with Carnival, we're always looking at different ways to expand our reach and, and our ships and, and all these beautiful destinations that we all live in, right? Um, you know, we live in these beautiful uh, countries that are unique and offer these beautiful experience to many. And that's the great thing, right? It's the, the culture behind all of this. And I think Carnival Corporation in general, I think does a very good job. You know, I, I know Carnival is one, um, but some of our sister lines uh, do sail to some of these uh, other uh, places that I would love Carnival to go to. But, you know, hey, I always say just be patient. I, I think eventually, you know, down the line, as, as you see that we are starting to look at different destinations, as I mentioned in the presentation, I feel that eventually, uh, you know, our footprint as far as where we travel from and where our ships are positioned, I think will grow over time. Um, time will tell. Um, so uh, I'm excited, you know, to, to be a part of this family here at Carnival. And, and I think that there's there's so much more that we as a company can explore and and, uh, and visit these beautiful places uh, that are around the world. Amazing. Well, Calvin, thank you so much. I think this presentation was so interesting, gave us so many details. You got everyone so excited to go cruise. I'm planning my trip to Fiji now with Carnival. I think yeah. for my honeymoon, that's what we're going to do. We will go to Fiji. Um, you know, I, I got to tell you, I, I've presented already uh, Bonanza a couple times now, and it's making me itch on getting on board in New York and go on that ship. <laughs> She's beautiful. We should all go together. We'll have one big cruise, carnival, party, celebration cruise. That's right. That's right. Just all the words. All the, all the right words. Uh, guys, once again, thank you all for joining us. If you want to post something, tag carnival, tag in cruises. And thank you, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for your comments. Thank you for your feedback. And Calvin, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and always being there for us and always sharing the fun that Carnival is. Thank you, everyone. I truly appreciate your time. Have an amazing, amazing day. Great uh, week as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.